Hello, I'm gonna make iced coffee right now because I've been wanting coffee all day today. And I just got out of the shower and I got ready for today. It's already one. Don't worry, I was productive. I did homework and things like that. I cleaned my room. I'm just going to make iced coffee now and then I'm going to look at my real estate courses because I've been needing to do that. I signed up for the classes and everything, but I just haven't done the classes. So I'm gonna get familiar with the website. I might even run some errands because I've been needing to since yesterday, but it was snowing like ballistic yesterday. So now, I might end up doing that after I get coffee and make my coffee and do some real estate searching. I use a Mr. Coffee iced coffee machine. You can really make just hot coffee with it too. You just don't add the ice, but it's a tall machine, fairly tall, that makes iced coffee when you put the ice in the cup and the coffee just dispenses out from a little, little tube thing. And then you just put your own coffee grounds. It does come with a reusable coffee filter which is nice because you don't have to keep buying coffee filters and and I don't even know how much they are but it just saves money I'm sure and then my mom put coffee grounds into this thing that says coffee and I like that because it's nice and it's just Folger I've been using Folger lately but I first started making nice coffee with the Starbucks jug that you would get at the store just the medium I think that was called or the pike roast whatever it was called but now I use coffee grounds because of this bad boy. But I do still get Starbucks creamer. Right now I have two. I have the Dolce Latte and the Caramel Macchiato inspired creamers. Um, I really like them though. So I think I'm going to make caramel because I want caramel. But first I have to grab the ice. Also I've been building the Jazz Club modular building that came out in January of 2023. Because my amazing, my amazing pretty got it for me. Which is so nice because these Legos are pretty pricey, but she is amazing to me. We might see her later on. She doesn't really like to be in vlogs, so we'll see. We'll see. But the building is just sitting, sitting on top of my fridge. Here I have my toaster pseudo breakfast and the ice cubes, but I already have some ice in here. So I'm going to get it from here. Actually... I'm gonna take this out too so I can refill it. Durr. The Mr. Coffee machine came with this fairly large transparent tumbler and it says Mr. Coffee right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's there. But I will not be using this right now. I will be using another turquoise tealish tumbler that my girlfriend got for me. My pretty got for me on for my birth no for Christmas. <laughs> And I'm just going to make iced coffee and put the ice in here and then get the coffee from the Mr. Coffee Machine back from behind me. And then we're going to continue and look into the real estate courses. Now we just transport ourselves in the cup to the other side of the kitchen and get um, the coffee grounds inside the coffee filter. And then we're going to let the coffee grounds in the water mix for a bit and while that happens we're going to fill up more ice in the ice cube tray we're going to put water in there so it can freeze up in the freezer and then we're going to come back over here and we're going to obtain iced coffee the iced coffee machine is plugged in i did already obtain the water from the gallon of water and this little thing is just what my parents used to put tea hot tea they boil hot water onto this and make tea so i'm just going to pour it inside the area where you put water and then i will show you a clip of that and then we're going to scoop up our coffee grounds and then wait for the coffee and the water to mix now that the coffee and water inside we're just going to press the start button and it should start brewing and then we're going to make some more ice cubes to make the ice cubes i use the same thing i just fill up water in here and put them inside the tray and put them inside my mini fridge and you're good to go the ice cubes are done now i'm going to get my coffee you can drink coffee, caramel coffee.
This is the final coffee and it's really, really good. I don't even know if I'm focused, but... Coffee! Make coffee! Okay, so now we just have to clean up everything and then we can do real estate. I made it onto my bed. I already have my laptop opened. And now I'm just going to log in and try to see how to even access the classes of real estate because I made, I I purchased a little package before I made an account, but I got an email saying that was processed and I have it now. So I don't know if, if it's gonna be linked, if I'm going to have to link it or how that's gonna work. So we're gonna figure it out right now. Lodging coffee. So I have figured out how to log in and everything and the account that I made has no intention and no regards into what I had to do if that makes any sense. I really don't know how to explain this because it's just the whole process is just new to me. Everything's new to me. But what I did learn is that um, this one course, this website thing is not secure but when I click on a course like the real estate principle online course it takes me to a different tab and then it says it's secured so i don't know if it's just like the home page or whatever and there's n nothing bad you know i can't be stolen from anything because there's no credit card number or anything attached to this page except for my address my phone number my email and that's it but i think it's fine because i think it's fine Anyway, I think it's really cool though. It's just simple. It's just the three courses. You click on one of the links and it takes you to that course. And if you click another link, then it takes you to that course. And it's just really simple. <laughs> and then each course has their own final exam. So after I finish all three tests, then... Because there's three courses. So after I finish all three courses, then I get to take the, the t state test. And then if I pass that, then I get my real estate license. I just realized those weren't the most flattering clips, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm just going to review the material, get familiar with the website, and then I'm going to probably run some errands because I have to, or maybe not right away, but we're going to just look through the courses and maybe even start, we'll see. I just want to get familiar with it and everything because it is online, everything. I didn't purchase any physical textbooks like I had the option to but I just got the done deal and the deal is done so I'm done in looking into real estate uh, I stopped because I realized I should be taking notes you know and I'm I had a notepad but not a notebook so I can keep all my notes organized I got a notebook on Amazon I had a $10 promotional gift thing so I only paid two dollars for the notebook and it should be coming tomorrow but if I do go shopping today, do the errands I have to do, then I will be buying a pen because I feel if I have nice material, then I will be motivated to do this. And I am already motivated, but just by being organized and having a certain pen and a certain notebook for what I want to do, then I feel I will, I will just enjoy the process more and really like what I'm doing. And I think I will just enjoy it a lot more. So I did decide to go get the water and drop off a bill and I'm just going to fill up my hydro flask because sometimes drinking too much coffee makes me want to gag or makes me feel overwhelmed but it's actually not even only for coffee it's also for like with chocolate and just having a lot of something makes me just gag. So I'm just going to fill up my hydro flask so I can um, water down the coffee. I almost forgot to spray some cologne. I got inside the car now, I'm ready to go. I need to get gas when I get paid. Not like right away because I have um, a quarter of a tank left. Which is good because I had to fill it up more than once this last two weeks. And I usually fill it up more than once in like two weeks. But I'm going to get the water and after the water, I'm debating if I should go to Walmart, but I don't know. I might just wait for my pretty to go to Walmart with her later on today. And, but I do need to drop off the gas bill, and so I'm going to do that after I get water. So we go. I wish I could just have you here. I know I could because I have a little um, suction cup, um, little tripod thing that I bought. 
and I still have never used. I bought it about a year ago, literally about a year ago, and I haven't used it. And I'm thinking about putting it on here now. I don't know, because I also want to get a car for myself, so I don't know. That's not a flattering angle. <laughs> okay, we drive now. Right here could be really cool, but it doesn't do justice. No, it wouldn't be cool at all. I just knew I should have brought my tripod. I was thinking about it, but I didn't end up bringing it. So I just got the water. I'm actually parked at our red, you know, the red curb. But I put my hazard lights on, my emergency lights, and it's just really quick. But I'm saying this really quick because I, so I can get out of here and drop off the bill. And I'm going to call my sisters to see if she's home so I can drop off her her um, car seat or for her kid because it's been in my car for well over a month now maybe and I, I don't know I just don't want it I don't need it so I'm gonna do that successfully made it back home but surprisingly the streets were so busy today I believe it or not I got lost not really but I got lost because I went down a street I never go to and I did because I didn't want to go all the way in the back way so I went in between and I found a really cool park because I, I know about the park, but I just don't know how to actually get there. But I found the park and I really like it because there's a lot of shade, like a lot of huge trees and it's just really spacious. A lot of grass. It's not dead. It's just, it's clean. I think it's clean, but the area, I don't know. The area is not the, the worst because there's houses around, but just the location of this whole, this whole town where I live. Anyway, um, I'm home now. I got the water. I dropped off the bill and then I called my sister to see if she was home, but she was not. She was picking up the kids figures because it's around the time and my other sister just got home so I'm going back inside and I'm going to text my pretty back because it was beeping my phone was beeping the whole entire time so I'm gonna go and we're going to just go inside and see what else we're gonna do today I took my geo buddy a shower so he's all nice and clean and bathed I gave him a treat because he did really good he didn't try escaping the bathtub but he was scared obviously he doesn't get many baths, but I like to make it more often that maybe twice a week or once a week. So now I'm just going to read. I'm sure he's going to be cuddling right next to me because he's, he just needs the attention. <laughs> right, buddy, Joe? <laughs> I really like this shirt. My pretty got it for him. It's kind of oversized, but it's just he just looks cute in it. And so I'm going to read now, and my pretty should be coming over in a little bit. We're going to have a little sleepover, and then I think I'm going to wrap it up there.